Dozens and dozens of people rushed out to the beach here this morning. We're right on the border of Mission Beach and Pacific Beach, all to get a glimpse of something that even people who have lived here for years and years say is extremely unusual. Once again, folks, we need you to stay away from the whale. The whale, a dead 52-foot fin whale, washed up sometime before 9.30 this morning. I saw some guy running around with the surfboard, and I was like, how are the waves? And he was like pretty chill but there's a 40 footer on the beach beach up and I was like what do you mean 40 footer and he was like it's a whale beach and I was like no way it was a big surprise for Aiden McHugh and everyone else it's unfortunate but it's a circle of life most of the time Audrey Hager happened to be nearby she works as a marine biologist and had some insight they either beach themselves if they're sick or they'll just float up naturally if they die in the wild. At first, City of San Diego lifeguards, firefighters and police tried to tow the whale back out to the ocean using a rope around its tail, but the plan failed. We do you have occasional sets that roll in. If that moves at all, you're on the wrong side of that animal. Before they could create a perimeter around the whale, people were seen walking up to it, even touching it. A spokesperson from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, says this is not what you want to do. They warned to keep both kids and pets away if and when you come across dead sea life like this because it could be carrying unknown illnesses. Super sad. Never seen this before. We've lived here for a long time. This is the first time we've ever seen this. Cynthia Polis was also shocked, and she was concerned at the thought of what happened. Well, it's heartbreaking, you know. We don't know if it's because of all the pollution coming from the south. My husband surfs, my son surfs, and to see this, it's heartbreaking. NOAA researchers arrived and worked with lifeguards to create an area for them to work and to keep people out. Their big goal is to understand why this whale died. They collected samples and took photos and measurements. They say while it looked like it did have some wounds, they were likely from birds. And it didn't have any obvious signs of death, like getting hit by a boat or attacked. Not sure what the cause of it is, but... Dana Williams. It's alarming. NBC7. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.